Hello, this is a local net adapter uh, shield for uh, Arduino Uno. It's uh, made from a company called uh, Arcomora, A R C O M O R A, and you can find them on the internet. It's a kit. I think it's four point five pounds. I think that's around like nine, eight, nine dollars Canadian. Um, so it's got a local net connection, which is these two RJ forty fives. And then there's uh, eight inputs on one side with a ground and eight inputs on the other side with a ground. Uh, you can power it through the board, here, which is on the top here, or you can end up powering it if you want it through the USB, if you're testing it or programming the, uh, the Arduino. There's also on the uh, Arduino Uno, there's a power connector here. Or it gets powered from the uh, local net bus. So that's what that board looks like. And that's the Arduino underneath, so it's like you, you just plug it in. This is how the Arduino stuff works. You just plug these boards. They're like daughter boards. They plug into it. So what happens now, I'll connect it into a, my local net connection here. So on the side of the layout, I've got a local net connection here. Plug that in. This guy powers up. You should see the LEDs. And um, there it's going. It's flashing. Now let me see, I turn on my computer, a local net monitor. Uh, up here, let me clear all this information here. Clear. And clear. Yeah, all that stuff is cleared, so I'll go back to the layout here. And let me see if I ground one of the pins. Is this guy supposed to be on? That should not be on like that. The two LEDs should not be on. Let me try this again. Unplug it. Oops. Trying to plug it in one handed. Okay. So the yellow light. That's how that should go on. Now let me try and ground the first input. See, so the light flickered there. We'll go back to the hello comment. Yeah, so it gave me the address 65. So the way the board is programmed is there's 16 addresses starting at 65 and so on. So I grounded it to so one high to low. That's uh, the output. That's two, mo two different monitors doing the same thing basically. So if I go back here and let me see, I'll try and uh, cycle through this. This is output 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Hopefully you cut that. And when I go back to the monitor here, if you can see this, if it's focused enough for you, it should say uh, sensor LS65 high low 66 high low 67 high low 68 69 and 68 went low 70 70 71 72 so that's how that all works so you know you set up in your logic uh, or your whatever your board you can connect the uh, relays boards uh, like this guy here let me see if this comes into focus these boards you can connect it to a block occupancy or turn on some servos or whatever you like you can connect that hardware to your layout or to these inputs I mean and uh, so the local net connection will uh, will run that guy and then you just daisy chain let's say this board the output to another uh, board like this and so forth so that's how this uh, local net uh, adapter works pretty cheap pretty, pretty reasonably priced I should say and that's uh, that's it for now I'm happy with uh, this purchase thanks for watching bye